So you're going to be a witness. For many, this can be a very stressful experience. We understand that you may feel anxious or nervous about testifying in court before a judge, lawyers, and a jury. So the Iowa State Bar Association has put this video together to give you some guidelines and information to make the experience more comfortable for you. It's important that you become familiar with your role as a witness, preparing yourself and knowing what to expect. A witness is an important part of our justice system. We ask our courts to be fair and impartial, deciding cases and resolving matters based on the facts of the case. The court relies on witness testimony as one of the ways to gather the essential facts of the case. Witnesses can be people who were present at the time the thing in controversy happened or who know the facts pertinent to the matter. The court asks the witness to furnish the facts needed to make a decision. Your role in the courtroom is just as important as the judge, the jury, or the lawyers. Before you appear in court, there are some things that you can do to prepare yourself. In your mind, go over the facts of the case. Try to recall exactly what occurred and the chronology of events. This will help you organize your thoughts while you're testifying. Make sure you understand how to get to the courthouse and what time you are to be there. Talk to the lawyer ahead of time about when and where in the courthouse you will meet. Dress appropriately for the setting that you'll be in. Wear what you might wear to an important business meeting, for example. On the day and time that you are called to testify, you'll be asked to take the witness stand. Be sure to get seated comfortably, sitting erectly so that you can be clearly heard. Take a look around the room to familiarize yourself with the surroundings. Then take a deep breath to relax. Remember that this is an important and serious occasion. Act natural and be yourself and you'll do just fine. As a witness, you'll be sworn and asked to promise to tell the truth. When you testify, you'll be responding to questions asked by lawyers. The first lawyer to ask you questions will be the one who has called you or asked you to testify. You have been called because you are someone who can testify on behalf of the client or provide information about the case. This is called direct examination. The questions asked on direct examination will be designed to have you talk about the facts you know. When the lawyer who called you as a witness has completed questions, the other side has the opportunity to question you, and this is called cross-examination. In order for the jury to understand the witness's testimony, it is important for both sides to have an opportunity to question the witness. The questions asked on cross-examination will test the story you told under direct. They may be designed to test your credibility or memory of the facts. Questions asked of you by both sides are intended to bring out the truth about the facts that you know. There are some simple rules to follow when you're providing testimony. First and foremost, tell the truth, just as you promised when you were sworn. Be prepared to tell your story simply and honestly. Avoid expressing your opinion about why something happened. That is what the jury is for. As a witness, your sole duty is to tell it like you saw it. Stick to the facts. The only thing you are permitted to testify to is what you personally know. Testifying about anything other than what you saw will make you vulnerable on cross-examination. If you stick to the facts, the opposing attorney will be less able to confuse or embarrass you on cross-examination. Speak slowly and clearly. Speaking loudly and clearly indicates that you are confident and certain about your answers. Being slow and deliberate with your answers will also allow you to formulate your thoughts before you speak. It is very frustrating to the court when it's difficult to understand a witness. Don't lose your temper. You'll come across better and with more credibility if you remain calm. And don't become defensive or argumentative on the stand. Chances are if you lose self-control, it'll be easier to trip you up under cross-examination. Never guess at the meaning of a question. If you don't understand the question, ask that it be repeated or explained to you. Don't try to answer if you don't understand the question. Interpreting a question incorrectly will only add to the length of your testimony as the attorney will need to clarify anything that you answered in confusion. Answer all questions directly. Give no information other than that that was asked. The lawyers will get the information for the case by the questions that they ask. Don't volunteer additional information. 
If you don't know something, admit it. Some witnesses feel they should have an answer to every question. No witness knows all the facts. If you don't know the answer, simply say so. Don't be forced into testifying to something you don't know. Don't try to memorize your story. Tell the story to the best of your ability. You don't want to sound rehearsed by memorizing your answers. You may also get confused if the questions are asked out of order. Allow the attorney to finish speaking before you start to answer. The court reporter makes a record of everything said in the courtroom, but the reporter can only record one person at a time. So you should be careful to let the attorney completely finish a question before you give an answer. Our justice system cannot work without witnesses. They allow the judge and jury to determine what happened and to resolve the dispute before them. If you relax and tell the truth, you will leave with the satisfaction that you have performed an important function for our courts. We hope this video has provided you with some helpful tips that should put you at ease about your important role as a witness.